everybody, it's Danny Rookin and we're live with Jane Unchained one more time because as you can see in the background that's a uh, boycott SeaWorld over there, the banner with the inflated orcas and that is PETA and there's a lot of activists out here, animal activists and, the, and all the drivers in the traffic are so supportive. You're going to hear honking the whole time. What we have here is we have Matt, is it Matt Bruce? Matt Bruce, yes. Matt Bruce of PETA and as you can see, we're going we're gonna to ask him a few questions. You can see behind us uh, channel NBC, channel looks like NBC4 uh, already interviewed you and then what was it, KTLA? KTLA 5, yeah. Yeah, sure. they also interviewed you and they got here way after we did so we got a lot of great footage of you guys uh, about an hour ago. But Wonderful. now that you're here, thank you so much for being out here. Yes, Matt. of course, of course. It's, you know, SeaWorld is, is putting a lot of focus on Southern California locals and LA locals to go to SeaWorld. But lots of animal rights activists call LA home and we're here to show them that uh, nobody in LA wants to go to their terrible park. As you can hear, all the people honking in support of us. Nobody likes SeaWorld. The uh, public tide has changed. We, nobody likes to see animals uh, forced to live their lives in miserable captivity or beaten to perform like they are in the circus. Uh, it's very, very uh, sad. It makes people very upset. And so they react in different ways. And here, this is what we're doing. We're encouraging people heading south on I-5 Maybe going to San Diego or people who are uh, getting off of work thinking about how they're going to spend time with their families this weekend. And we're showing them that 39 orcas have died on SeaWorld's watch. And on all seven of these bridges over downtown LA, over the 101 freeway, we had, we had orcas, inflatable orcas with X's over their eyes to show that they're dead. One for every one that has died in SeaWorld's care. And of all the orcas that have died in SeaWorld's care, all of them have been from captivity-related issues, from having a pool door closed on one of their heads and cracking their skull, uh, an orca named Gudrun who had a stillborn calf in her body, and the trainers thought it would be a good idea to go inside of her body with a cable and pull the stillborn calf out with a winch. She bled to death over the course of several hours and sunk to the bottom of her pool. This is absolutely terrible. These things do not happen in the wild. And we want to encourage you and everybody out here to never go to SeaWorld or any other amusement park, circus, or anything like that that uses animals. That's terrific, Matt. And anything else you'd like to say that, that people should know about um, in terms of... Uh, now, I did hear that SeaWorld, well, that China might... There's certain company in China might be investing in SeaWorld there to take their take their, uh, their game somewhere else. Do you know anything about that? Apparently there are some overseas investors. Uh, I am not sure what is happening now, but that was the latest news that I have. We'll have to see what happens. Sure. And we'll be protesting them in China or Japan or anywhere in Asia that they may be uh, setting up shop. That's so, right, because PETA is international. PETA is international. And I wanna, yeah, I want to thank you, PETA, particularly, because you guys just, uh, you've done an amazing job for so many years. I appreciate it. Thank you very Fighting much. Fighting the good fight. And we couldn't have done this without the support of local activists, for real. It has taken people from all over the country to fight SeaWorld, to show SeaWorld that we won't go there, that we don't support their abusing of animals. And um, it's evident in their stocks falling, in their major executives and, and investors jumping ship, and uh, their, their attendance plummeting to an all-time low. So That's a great sign. It's not just PETA, but it's all the animal rights activists who are contributing, and we thank you guys for keeping the fight alive. Thank you so much, Matt. Of thank course, you. of course. Okay, and I just want to show everybody one more time, this is Jane Unchained Live, this is Danny Rubin with Jane Unchained. I am going to try to zoom in. There it is. It finally worked. So there you go. Let me see if I can even get in a little more. Okay, there we go. Look at them. These, these guys have been out here for at least an hour. And what a way. Go PETA. Somebody said, love it. Go PETA. All the horns you hear, if you're just tuning in, all the honking is all the drivers in rush hour traffic recording. They're even the big rigs. So as you can see, Woo! As you can see, boycotting SeaWorld 